Hi there mga Kasibil Squad! This is Bam and today magkakaroon tayo ng isang interactive solving sa Frequently Asked Questions sa Civil Engineering Board Exam here in the Philippines. So kung bago ka sa akin channel, here are the mechanics. Magkakaroon tayo ng set of questions na galing mismo sa past board exams and I will be giving you 1 minute to answer objective type problems and 3 minutes to solve computational problems. At the end of the given set of questions, we will have a discussion. For today's episode, ang subject natin ay Structural Engineering. So are you ready? Let's do this! It refers to the stress at which a material begins to deform plastically. Letter A, Yielding. Letter B, Strain Hardening. Letter C, Buckling. Letter D, Rupture. Your one minute starts now. Time's up mga kasibil squad and the answer is letter A, yielding. The material composition is the same but its mechanical properties are different in every direction. Letter A, homogeneous material. Letter B, elastic material. Letter C, isotropic material. Letter D, orthotropic material. Your one minute starts now. Time's up mga kasibil squad and the answer is letter D, orthotropic material. The ability of the material to absorb energy in the elastic range. Letter A, plasticity. Letter B, resilience. Letter C, toughness. Letter D, stiffness. Your one minute starts now.
times up ba ang Kasibin Squad? And the answer is, letter B, Resilience. It is the term which refers to the ability of material to deform in the plastic range without breaking. Letter A, Ductility. Letter B, Stiffness. Letter C, Resilience. Letter D, Elongation. Your one minute starts now. Time's up ba ang Kasibin Squad? And the answer is, letter A, ductility. It is the ability of the material to absorb energy in the plastic range. Letter A, elasticity. Letter B, stiffness. Letter C, toughness. Letter D, plasticity. Your one minute starts now. Time's up ba ang Kasibin Squad? And the answer is, letter C, toughness. 